The objective of this practice is to properly use deep penetration E6010 electrodes with a whip and pause manipulation to deposit wells with uniform width and ripple appearance. Follow the general procedure steps. Use proper protective clothing, tools, and eye protection. The materials and power source settings for this exercise are listed in your workbook. The E6010 electrode is designed for deep penetration. It is sensitive to arc length variation and excessive current. It is also more likely to stick to the work when the arc length is too short. To help overcome this sensitivity, use a whip and pause movement. The workpiece for this job practice is similar to the one used in topic number four. Strike the arc near the plate farthest from you, holding the electrode vertical when viewed along the weld, and angled five to 10 degrees in the direction of travel as seen by the welder. Move along the edge of the plate with a forward, then backward motion in order to produce an even bead. Move the electrode tip one diameter forward, shortening the arc slightly on the forward stroke, and then back one half diameter, pausing at this point with a normal arc length to produce a two diameter bead width. Repeat this motion for the length of the bead. Observe the deep puddle, which indicates deep penetration into the plate. For the remaining beads, angle the electrode 10 to 15 degrees away from vertical and overlap the previous bead by about one third to one half. Clean the slag from each bead before laying the next one. Take care not to increase the electrode angle while traveling and hold a normal one diameter arc length by lowering the electrode tip as it is consumed. If the arc length becomes too long or the current too high, excessive spatter and a wide flat bead will result. Undercutting, which greatly weakens the weld joint, will also occur. Keep these points in mind and use this procedure to cover the entire plate. Then check with your instructor 